Hi, Carl here with another installment, continuing the completion of our design. Today we're going to add hardscape to our scene. We already have our plan uh, on a layer here, so it should be pretty easy to trace out our landings, pathways, and our driveway for our front yard. First we're going to do today is add to our layers. Uh, we're going to select a layer and right click and add new layer. Let's name one front hardscape for of course all of the paths and driveway in our front yard. Let's go ahead and make one more for later. Add new layer. Back hardscape of course for our backyard when we get to that. Okay the next thing we're going to want to do is make sure that our grid and our snapping tool is on so we can start to traced our hardscape. So our house has been is existing from last time and we're gonna have to zoom in on our zoom to to our front porch area and notice that there's quite a drop to the existing grade so the first thing we want to do is make sure we're on the front hardscape layers so everything we build is on that layer and we're going to go to plan view let's look at this plan here so we know we have a landing um, looks a little bit long uh, but let's go back over to perspective here and uh, see what we can do. Let's go to building on our ribbon tab up here. Uh, let's use the patio tool. Let's click on the front of our entrance here. Let's go to each end. So we can get 12 feet. You can hold the spacebar tool down as you click your dot to make sure that we have a right angle here. Let's make a 6 foot landing. Let's go back to 12. Make sure they're all at up. 6 by 12. All right. So we can see in the patio details that uh, the height of this is six inches. We're gonna we're gonna bring this down to about four inches so we can put one more step in here. Um, note that you can also, on the patio selected, change your patio material, which is your paver up top, and your facing material. Um, as you just click on the icon here. Um, of course, you have all these to select from, but we're gonna keep it the same as our patio area. So we're gonna cancel here. Uh, okay, so now we need a one more step to get down to our landing here, I think. So let's use the wall tool for this. Uh, this is a really easy way to add a cap to it. Let's go back to our plane. and All right, so we've added our patio tool. Let's go to wall here. Uh, let's start at one end of our porch. Go down to about 12 feet here and right click. Go back to perspective. We can see we have our wall in here now. Um, we're going to want to move this back uh, right up but to our porch here. You can see that we're still not uh, there yet. Let's go back to about right here, okay? Um, now, what we can do to line these up is you can select your patio or your landing, hold control and hold uh, get your step there as well. And we're going to ribbons, go to plan details. And use our align tools. You can see that they're a little bit off here because our plan is a little bit off. Um, you want to make sure that that's you know in sync for when you're designing and tracing over yours. Um, we can use our align tool here, um, like so, and you can see that it moves our step and our landing together so they're aligned. Let's go back to perspective and check that out. So now we're lined up here. Looks good. Okay, so let's uh, click our wall that we've created, which is our step, and let's go to wall cap details. Uh, right now it says that there's no cap, but let's add a cap. Flat tile is okay. What you can see is that now it kind of has like that cap for a landing uh, or a step, which you see, you know, in most landings and steps. Um, but we need to, we need to uh, make a little bit shorter. Let's go back to wall details here. Uh, you can see the height is 10 inches. Let's make that about 8 inches. See, now we have a nice step in landing to our front entrance here, okay? All right, um, let's next uh, start by adding a path. Let's go back to our plan here. Let's see what we have going on. We have a pathway from our landing area over to our driveway and garage area. Seems appropriate. Okay, so you can see we have a pathway to our driveway. Now let's, let's go back to our perspective view here. And now there's no grade on our site, which is great. Um, maybe in a later tutorial we'll have some earth to move around and we can show the difference really between 
uh, up in our ribbon tab here, the patio and walkway. Both can be used for a pathway or, of course, walkway. Uh, the walkway, of course, is great for when you have some slope or uh, grade because it conforms to the grade where a patio is really just used for a flat area. So let's, um, let's, go, let's go back to plan view here. And uh, we can see that we want our walkway to kind of curve uh, into our landing uh, from our driveway. But it seems like what we're going to want to do too is get our, our two major um, hardscape materials in here first, which is, seems to be our driveway and our landing area here. So let's go ahead and click on our patio tool. Patio tool is going to be a little bit better to use for our driveway because it's a little bit more complicated and more curves here. It's a little bit easier to connect the dots. Let's make sure that on our point type, we're on a right angle here, and we can go back and change the curves at a uh, later time. Uh, okay, so let's start here by connecting to our, our garage and making a slight curve in here down to our street. Let's come back up here have our carport area. Uh, let's connect back up to the end of our driveway here. And all right, let's go into perspective and see how that came out. All right, so you can see it starts to take the shape of a driveway. If this was our street here, you'd pull in a little bit of a curve, nice. Um, well, I'd like to make it, let's use our arrow keys and scroll uh, orbit over here. Um, Seems like we're going to want to make it just a little bit wider um, out the back here. So what we're going to do is select uh, our two points here by holding control. Uh, you can use the space bar again to keep that straight right angle back. Let's go back a few feet to 10 feet here. It just seems like a little bit more of an area to turn into our garage, I think. Um, you know, maybe we can even uh, hold space bar one more time, selecting the whole, the whole driveway, of course, and move a little bit further back from the garage doors this is a great way to learn how to edit your um, patio because you don't have, have to delete it you can always just go back and edit it. it's very simple now let's move our dot closer here to the garage one at a time um, alright so now it gives a little bit more to turn into the garage and back out of course now like I told you before we can select our driveway go back to plan and well, let's go back here and double click on that so we can get our points here and by selecting a point and point type we can change it now to a curve you can see that their curve will start to take shape in our driveway here and especially the entrance area we can add one more here a uh, curve here as well so now we have that really nice curved driveway coming in really nice okay let's go back to perspective now we're going to want to change the paver type different from our porches where we can have a little bit more fun let's first of all change our height to I like to use about four inches or so uh, so select a patio let's go to pa patio material and let's click on a nice uh, paver for this how about like a, a like a Brussels block here okay let's use any color we'll do limestone and we're going to add to scene and you can see it changes our your driveway material zoom to here um, and you can also change the angle of this of uh, as long as the patio is selected uh, to oh, that's the scale sorry we can always also change the scale as well uh, angle here though so you can make them 45 uh, 90 or whatever it may do to, uh, to fit what you might like uh, I'm gonna go back to about uh, this is, looks good just to go up the driveway here, but like I said, you can, I oh know, see we don't want these lines here, so let's go back to uh, zero, <laughs> let's go back where we started, so that's okay. Now we can also add a coping here as well, um, by coping, and no coping it says, but we can add a flat tile here. Um, now we have our, our, lay, our border layer here. Okay, now that we have our steps landing and our driveway to our home, uh, let's go ahead and add the pathway now from our driveway over to our landing so uh, we can get into our front entrance here. Let's go back to the plan and let's take a look at, all right, so here's our pathway here. <clears throat> this is going to connect us and bring us to the front door. 
Um, so let's make sure that we're are on our correct layer front hardscape here. And we're going to go up to our ribbon tab, building. Uh, let's select the walkway. Make sure that our point type is uh, curve here. Right. Start by click, left clicking down. Let's uh, left click in the middle here to create our arc and our like half circle here. And, and let's extend it right to our landing. Right click to create that walk pathway. And uh, let's zoom to. All right, so we're a little bit off here on our plan, but no problem. We can select our points here uh, by control, selecting both, and we can move them over to our driveway area. Now you can see that this starts to create a a bed here, a functional bed for some plantscape, and kind of bring down the house a little bit. And everybody has a front uh, bed in their house. Really dresses up the home. Uh, all right. Let's uh, zoom to over here. Bring back our bring back our points a little bit by select and grabbing both points. So you can move those over. You can always get back to and edit um, your walkway or pathway. It's very simple. You don't have to just delete it. Uh, all right. So now we have our pathway going into our house. Uh, you know, want to make sure that that lines up. You can adjust the height. Um, you know, this is four four inches tall here, our landing, which is our patio. Let's go back to our path, select that, and you can see our height is only two inches, so we're going to change that to four here, and see that uh, butts up nice and perfect there. Uh, all right, well, let's uh, orbit over here and maybe take a nice final screenshot of what we've accomplished today. Um, let's start by going to main, the ribbon tab, screenshot, make sure upload to virtual property and line is checked off, and... Uh, next, let's go to screenshot name, call it front hardscape, create screenshot. All right, so success, okay. All right, well, uh, so we get the front accomplished, and uh, let's make sure we click off our back hardscape layer, and uh, I'll meet you around back. Thanks, guys.